Hey guys, this is the S117 here today, and today we are going to be reviewing this Daisy Powerline 11A1 pistol. It's tightly based around the John Moses Browning design of the 1911 pistol that's in 45 ACP. This is a 177 caliber CO2 pistol. It hits probably about five to 600 feet per second, and it holds 16 BBs per magazine. These are the magazines it holds. It takes one CO2 cartridge, 12 grams. To load the CO2 in, you pull this out, pop this up, push this in. Well, I'm sure most of you guys who have, who are watching this kind of know the basics of how to do CO2 so and here's what I don't like about this it's a little frustrating at first but you'll get it and then you just put this in you're ready to go this had this is a single action semi-automatic pistol and that means it will not fire unless the hammer is back see safety is off you got to do to take the safety off is press this button and then flip it down but if you don't press the button it won't go down this is well mine's a little older it's about a year old so it's got some wear and tear but most of the time if the mag is empty it'll have a bolt hold open so we're gonna rack this and then see how it shoots this has a decent sight picture as you can see got the same sight design as the original 1911 and we're sitting here probably about 15 feet from this I uh, say it's about a six inch target and let's see what we can do As you can see, it's not the most accurate pistol from any range, but it does do damage because me and my buddy, we were out in the woods. I was aiming, just for the record, I was aiming probably about right in this area, and it was hitting high. But for the record, me and my buddy, we were out in the woods, and we came across a snake and we put about six rounds in it from this and it stopped the snake dead in the tracks we were able to go about our day but this gun don't have the best fire rate either so let me test that out for you it's got probably about 10 rounds left you ready see mine has a little wear and tear if it didn't this bolt would immediately hold open like this and of course, this is a gas operated blowback, just like that. And no, the barrel was not pointed in a place that it could not, that it could harm somebody. So that is all good. And I'm sorry about the camera quality because I am still working by myself. So, as you can see, it just kind of scattered the shots around. There's one here, some here, here, and down here. I'm really regretting not wearing gloves. It's freezing cold out here. But you can see all the damage it's did. And now, you can buy extra magazines. I'm pretty sure you could buy extra parts for this. I'm honestly thinking about seeing what I can do about getting a rail system so I can have like so i can put a laser on it or something that is adjustable but here's how you load the magazine in hang on, or how you load the magazine you pull this down push it to the side and you cannot load your ammo through here that has a magnet in there and you'll only be able to feed about probably maybe two rounds so what you do is you take it 
you load it like that but I am honestly baiting getting a Sig Sauer MCX maybe an MPX uh, pellet rifle because me and my friends we've been in the woods more and as a miner we legally are not allowed to have a gun by ourselves because that would be seen as something bad if we got caught with the police and whatnot so we prefer to stick with pellets and BBs unless we have an adult with us that can supervise so here's the one thing I don't like they have this gun has fixed blade sights just like the original 1911 so you cannot adjust for windage or elevation and it's really really not pleasant so if it was possible to get one that had that I would definitely do it honestly I just seen this and I am a big fan of 1911s especially the older models I think they're really fantastic just for the fact of what they've did for the country and what a big innovation it was on handguns and whatnot and so I just had to have it it was one of those things you now if you don't get it you're an idiot but as you can see from riding around in a four-wheeler and whatnot there is um, quite a little bit of wear here and there most of the time we'll just strap it down and it'll wiggle and what everything else and it's really a reliable handgun, but here's what I don't like about it. You see that? That's the slide moving back and forth because the recoil spring ain't stiff enough to keep it in place. So I feel like that shit might give you a problem whenever it's older. And the slide moves up and down too. So that's a big problem. This gun was made in... Hang on, let me check. It was made in Japan, that's the ironic part. Especially since uh, the U.S. used these as a sidearm in their conquest over Japan in World War II. So that is one of those big things that you're like, that's a little twisted. But it was either this or a Waller PPK. I really thought about that because it's really compact. James Bond had one, so it's a movie icon as well. But this will pre probably be the last mag dump, then we'll get to the end of the video. It would probably help if I had the hammer back, it being a single action. This gun is probably better used as the same system you would use of a P90. And the thing is, is they use this system in the military too. It's mainly for SMGs and weapons that don't have very good iron sights, that have a lot of ammo and a high fire rate. What you do is you kind of just shoot and then use it like a laser beam and kind of guide it on target. But this handgun... It's very reliable. I haven't had problems out of it yet. I've had it for almost a year. I got it in April 30th of last year. Of this year, my bad. And I got it from my local Walmart. You may not be able to find it there because every place is different. But I'm sure you could find it on, let's say, probably Daisy's website, Pyramid Air maybe, a couple other websites. It is really just a fantastic gun, and I recommend buying one. Or I recommend saving up for one that is better, that has the adjustable sights that would be a huge plus in in the firearm, or air gun, my bad. Firearm is not the correct term. But thanks for watching. See you guys later, and please subscribe, leave a comment and just enjoy thank you